So here I am doing a voiceover. My microphone, my Wi-Fi microphone wasn't working. So when I went home last night, I took a picture of this um, chair, and I decided some parts of the wings I wasn't wasn't happy with. I know what they're more like uh, Phoenix wings, and it, I was just I just did what I could with the wood. Basically, I got rid of the shitty wood that was on the piece, and this is what's left. So, but I think in the beginning of this video, I'm going to fix the chair to the way I want it. I'll show you a picture right now of, um, I'll just put it up while I'm still talking, the video's running, of like how I marked out the bottom of the wing so I decided it looks better. So that's a good thing for you to do if you're good with apps. Your phone should do it. You can draw on your picture and see what you like and what you don't like. There's no rush to finish anything. I'm not doing this thing for consignment. Yeah, so that piece there I'm going to cut out. I'm just doing this piece for myself. If somebody wants to buy it, they can buy it. If they don't, I'll just... Have it sitting around the shop till somebody actually does buy it. It happens. So yeah, I'm going to cut out that side, and I'm going to make the fix up the bottoms because I don't want them. I don't like how the the lines are flowing with the wings. There, I'm trying to see if my, if my mic's working or not, and obviously it's not. Anyways, what's going on here next? So um, yeah, there's the chair. um let's see here so this whole thing that's that's um bark okay so when i did that i carved this chair live on youtube i think it took me like half an hour to carve it the blocking it out so i put a dowel one way and a dowel the other way and screws see there's a dowel that's that's two feet going the other way and then there's a dowel going that way right there um and i got big huge um timber screws these are awesome they don't split the wood i got i bought 12 inch timber screws and i these ones aren't 12 inches but i bought some big 12 inches and i put them up underneath like i flipped the chair back and i screwed them on the bottom like a cross like that way then one going the other way so like a semi truck could run over this thing and it wouldn't break it where that crack was that's the main thing make it um stable right and also this beak was about to break off so I put the um, screws. I know I could have done over the in the there. There's where the crack was. I know I could have went over the top and under the bottom, but I just said screw it. I'm putting them straight in, and it will never ever break off. That's with the smaller timber screws too. And the other beak, this beak here, did break off. And I put one timber screw, so it broke off, and I put really good glue inside there too. So that uh, foaming gorilla glue, so they'll never break off. Later in the video, I'll show you, I'm going to fill those holes. So these wings are going to be painted black. That's why I like, because I got those holes there. Everything's going to be painted black, and uh, I'll scuff it all up after. But, um, yeah, so I mix up sawdust, like Grand Cook taught me, sawdust and the Gorilla Glue, and put it in those holes. And, yeah, so you can see here I put the back in. I cut it out on an angle. So you tilt it back when you're sitting and you put the timber screws in against gravity. So I, I screwed them in up and then one down. So they're like crossed too. So that will never uh, come undone. 
and I'll paint that uh, black later in the video too. So I could have left the wings they were, but you know, it's your own piece. You're doing it for yourself. You want to be satisfied. So here is the new Dremel, the 8240. This is not a review video, but it's the cordless Dremel. I got the older 8220, and um, well, this is the new one. This one's brushless. It's 12 volts. I'm not too sure. Uh, I've been using the older Dremel for about a month now, the 8220 cordless in my chainsaw shop. I don't use, yes, the flex shaft does connect to these, but I don't use the flex shaft. And um, here it is. The uh, I do a couple little tests. 8240, it's, a, it's actually a great tool. It hooks up to your phone so you can see what's going on with the Dremel through your phone. There's some little bits. What I do like about this Dremel is the, um, there's the battery. So I'm going to do a battery test here. I like the, um, here's the old one. Yeah, that's the that's the 8220. Awful lighting, Jordy. And here's the newer one. So the newer one is just a little tiny bit bigger, that much, than the older one. I'm not too sure the speeds, but I'm pretty sure the newer one's faster. So the bat, what I want to do a battery test here is see, that's a knockoff battery. I suggest if you get this cordless Dremel, you get extra batteries. That one's just knockoff from uh, Amazon. I want to see if it fits the new Dremel. So there's the new Dremel battery trying to fit into it, and it does not fit in the old one. They made it so that they're not comparable. Maybe they're different kind of batteries. Maybe it's one's the lithium, lithium and one, whatever it's called, and one's the other type. But they're both 12 volts, so I'm not too sure. I haven't really done. Like I said, you could hook it up to your phone, and you could see how fast it's running, or if it's overheating, or if it needs to be cleaned or something. I might do a review video on it, but um, this will be staying at my chainsaw carving tent. So there's a newer one. Speed control on off. Your lock button there. Yep, speed control, Jordy. That's what that is. And you got the lights for your battery on off. So it's got like two or three batteries lights on right now. I'm pretty sure these batteries will actually last longer. Yeah, it's a nice tool for sure. And what I was going to say about those uh, plastic cases that you get with the older Dremels, they, like, it's hard to get all your tools inside there. So they give you a cloth case. Now it seems like you get all your tools in there a lot better too. So I will keep the cloth case. Got a zipper. Anyways, I don't know what I'm going on about here. But let's do a battery test. I think I do coming up here to see if it fits in the charger. So there's the cloth, cloth case. It's all right. There's nothing spectacular about it, but I, I might use it in case I travel. But actually, probably, you know what? I probably won't. Most of my cases just get tossed in the garbage. Anyways, so there's my battery packs. So the old, there's a new one on the right, where I'm hitting right now, and the old one on the left. So the, the battery that I got there in the left is flashing, the old one. But when I put it into the new charger, it didn't flash, okay? So here's the, the new battery. So I'm not too sure if you can put the old batteries in the new charger. And then, anyways, I'm not too sure about that. So what I'm going to do now is cut this uh, those bottom wings off and make it look more wings separated from the base. Okay, so there I cut it. Now I'm just going to burn it. I kind of made them like the slate rocks. And sanding it. Tilting it up. Having a seat. Yep, my fat ass still sits in it. Fits in it. Which way did he go? Which way did he go? Okay. I'm a lot happier with that. I'm telling you right now, I'm going to be pissed off if my video, if my uh, microphone wasn't turned on earlier I think I might have forgot to turn it on so you can see now how much the rocks I just kind of the once were mountains now they're rocks like slate now how they differ from the wings so now I think is a time where I'm gonna get some sawdust and mix up some glue and fill up these holes here Okay, last time I was out at uh, Ryan's cook shop, we did a little bit of this. 
So this is to fill the holes. This is Gorilla Glue. You got the normal, the white stuff. This is just Gorilla Wood Glue. Then you got this stuff here. And this is just says Gorilla Glue. Okay, you can see it's got that color there to it. It's more clear than the white stuff. So I asked Ryan, because I've used this stuff before and this stuff reacts to water, it foams up. So I asked Ryan, you know, I, I, I did some dowels with this stuff, but it kept pushing the dowels out because it was foaming up. He says, well, that's what you do. You just keep pushing the hammer, the dowels back in. So this stuff foams and this wood is wet wood. So, cause he told me this stuff doesn't work. You guys can find your own type of wood glue, but for the Gorilla Glue, this white stuff, this normal wood glue does not work. You have to use this stuff. Okay. So what I'm going to do, Ryan says, what he does is gets a orbit sander, a sander makes some real fine dust. It's going to collect in this bag. And then I'm going to mix this fine dust with that wood glue and I'm going to put it in the holes. But first of all, I want to ask you guys an important question. Do you guys like my shoes? Yeah, they're my chainsaw carving shoes. You think I should buy some new ones soon? They're steel toe. Do you like them? That's all. For myself, my hands are always dirty from some types of stains, but I hate getting this stuff. It's like that spray foam stuff on your hands because it will stay there for like four days. Well, you can use whatever you want, dishwashing soap or whatever you use, gasoline to wash it off, but I just, it's always sticks around, gets in cracks of your nails and stuff like that. So, um, I'm pretty sure I don't need that much. Okay. I'm probably doing this wrong. Like those pros that do this stuff all the time will tell me I'm probably doing it wrong, but that's okay. Got to figure stuff out. You got to figure things out the own way that you can figure things out. Okay, enough of that. So it's kind of like, feels like a uh, bubble gum. I don't know. Let's shove her in the hole. Okay, it's in there good. I'll do the other two holes. Okay, all the holes are done. So I got this, uh, this is awesome tape. And uh, I'm gonna see if I can tape over this stuff so it doesn't push it out too much. And then we'll just have to uh, wait for that glue to dry. Okay, okay. Maybe now we can spray paint the wings. Yeah, let's do that. All right. Okay, so I got the back, some of the back uh, painted black too. So like I said, I got to wait, come back tomorrow and wait for the paint to dry. Then I'm going to sand the high points, sand the beaks. Let's get a full visual of this so far. Oh yeah, I think it's cool. I had, I talked to Larry Dibbs and Just Carve Rob about it. They both, both basically said, come on, Jordy, get it together. They both basically said, I did what I could. I used the wood that I had, you know. Eagle of death. But one problem, it's still early in the day and I can't do any carving in here because it's going to get too dusty. So what am I, what am I going to do? I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to carve a wood spirit. <laughs> I'm going to cut off. Okay, 
So here's a piece of cedar. Oops. Okay, so here's a piece of cedar. Fuck, man. Fuck. Okay, so here's a piece of cedar. I'd say it's about two and a half big. This is an offcut from a tree project I'm working on. So it's uh, four inches wide. I already carved one out of an offcut. So I want to carve that so they're facing each other. Okay, so I'm gonna carve this. I'm gonna carve this one. Okay. So, like I say in lots of my other videos, and just carve. Rob says, uh, you know. So we got this center. We got this edge here. That's your easiest point to carve a wood spirit. Let me see if this thing's filming. This mic better be working. So that's your easiest edge to carve a nose because you already got the shape of it. You know, you only have to remove. So let's see here. Yeah, our center. So we'll put our nose here. So all we need to do mustache is cut here and then do one cut and remove this wood it's super super quick to do for to get your nose to pop off so like you just do one cut let me show you quickly I mean I got my little 2511 I'm gonna sharpen it but uh You guys can see it in the video. All right. Okay. So the first one I did has more flow, but that was the shape of the wood. You know, 
this one here I could have cut out some right here to get more flow but that's okay um, this one has a clear coat of that spar urethane on it so you see how dark it went compared to this one but I'm going to gift both these to my uh, good buddy Jay Pope from high school he's turning 50 this year so this uh let's move these wood spirits out of the way this chair i'm really tempted to start sanding the high points of the wings to get them really to pop but i don't think i'm gonna um i'm gonna wait till tomorrow or possibly yeah i'll wait till tomorrow because i'm gonna put cetol on this piece so maybe i'll make a video um finishing with cetol should I make a second video for this chair sanding the high points and putting CTOL on it? What do you guys think? And uh, thanks for all the support, everybody. Hi, Liz. Hi, Just Carve Rob. Hi, Studio on the Lake. Hi, Ryan Cook. Hi, Uncle Kevin. Hi, David Grass. Hey, Glenn. Hi, everybody. Hey, Brian Moore. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. How's that? So, let me know if you sh I should make a number two video. I probably should so you guys can see what it looks like when it's finished. But this one is um, a piece, a big uh, root head wood spirit. I'm going to take the cart tarp off of it. I put one coat of spar urethane on it. It's a piece for some good friends. It's his wife's 50th birthday. And um, it's a big sucker. That's like seven feet tall. I've got the wood spirit and this is a lacrosse stick down here. It's got her, her dad's initials. He was uh, like a huge part of the lacrosse association. WW. So he asked if I could put a lacrosse, because I said he wants to give it to his wife. I said, well, is there anything special I could carve on it? He goes, yeah, a lacrosse stick. A lacrosse stick would be great. So there's that. So I'm going to put another coat of spar urethane on that right now and a, a coat of spar urethane on the owl. But let's focus on the owl. And you guys can see from then till now, or now till then, this is going to go super dark. I'm gonna hook up my spray gun. This video might be long, don't care. Okay, so this is the Minwax Helsman Spar Urethane. This is uh, clear semi-gloss. This stuff, even if you buy just like uh, satin or whatever color, it, the more coats you put on it, it's gonna get glossy. That's, if you put one coat, it's not gonna be glossy, but if you put three coats, which I like to do for my nicer pieces, it's gonna look shiny. This is the air gun, I think it's in my Play Store. Okay, it's pretty cheap. It's like 30 bucks. You hook it up to your air, your compressor. I like that you get this uh, funnel with the pack. So let me show you. I'll take this lid off. I'll put this on top and then you pour it in. It's got this little filter that comes with it. And des definitely a mask for um, fumes. I don't know if this one's for fumes. I think it might be, might not be. When you get a brand new can for the very beginners, if you don't get it shaken at the store, make sure you mix it up because you get lots of this goop sitting in the bottom. Okay. Okay. Now it's already hooked up to my compressor. I just screw this on, put my mask on, start spraying. Okay, so everything's sprayed. I think it was a pretty successful day. Still got to come back. I'm not going to come here tomorrow. I'm going to give this stuff a good couple days to dry because I don't feel like pulling all this stuff out when I sand this, uh, the wings for this thing. Um, I even sprayed these. This one I already had uh, one coat of uh, Rust Oldham, that spray can stuff. So when you coat it with that, that let it dry for a couple days. It acts like pl a layer of plastic around the wood. So now this will be shiny. So this is one coat, this is without a coat. If I come back here in a couple days, this won't be shiny at all because all the wood will suck it in. The wood can't suck in the second coat of the spur earth thing that I put on here. See, the lacrosse guy, his, uh, he's got two coats. So you guys, third coat, it'll be super shiny. But if you need three coats of this stuff to make it really uh, weather protective. I got the oars sprayed and the eagle. Look how dark that went. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
Okay, so that's about it everybody. Uh, let me know if I should make a video sanding this and finishing it with um, CETOL. Let's get one more look at this chair. This chair, I didn't carve it to think I was going to try and sell it. I just carved it for myself as a fun project. I wish I had place for my, uh, I wish I had room for my place because I'd put it at uh, my own house. It all started with this. It all started with this sticker here. There's my skull with the hole in the head. Our beautiful tree with a wood spirit in it, my buddy Paul drew for me. Then BAP designed this one for me. Then, I know it's glitchy. Then I did this one. Carbon Fusion, out of coffee, out of coffee.